Since arriving at Lucky Dog Ranch, three-year-old Maggie has exhibited signs of anxiety. And as Brandon steps outside and turns his attention to Spy Cam, he soon discovers the severity of that anxiety runs much deeper than originally anticipated. Instantly, I hear her start screaming her head off. She started pacing all over the barn. She was scratching at the door. She was definitely nervous. Brandon immediately breaks into training mode. My plan of action to train this on her is very simple. I simply shut the door and I wait her out. I wait for a moment of silence. I want her to learn that being calm is what gets her the reward but she does not give me that moment of silence. Most dogs will calm down for a second or two, no matter how bad their anxiety is, but not Maggie. So tomorrow's a new day. Three-year-old Maggie could be on the verge of finding a loving and lasting home with Florence and Linda, but laying down permanent roots means rooting out her fear of abandonment, and that requires a complex approach. This is known as the layered system. You wanna layer technique after technique. Brandon's first weapon of choice, the bully stick. A big reason dogs have separation anxiety is because they're plain and simply bored. So I place a bully stick down for her and I simply walk outside. I'm not going far. I won't be gone long. Relax. She has no interest in that bully stick. She's still freaking out. From there, Brandon embraces a new layer, the anti-anxiety shirt. It's basically a compression shirt. It actually works on a lot of dogs because when they feel this sort of hugging sensation, it calms them down. Here. Same thing. The clock is ticking by and I'm seeing basically no progress at all. For the next few days, Brandon incorporates more layers into Maggie's training food-based toys, a calming spray, even utilizing his own voice. I record my voice for about five minutes. I loop it. Now my voice is constantly playing. Separation anxiety can often be the main But what I see is disappointing. There's absolutely no change. I feel like I'm fighting an uphill battle. Very few dogs have ever shown me what she just showed me. This right here goes beyond what a dog trainer can actually teach her. So at this point, I'm gonna have to take a step back and rethink my entire game plan. Come on. Very good boy, excellent work. Hup, hup, very good boy.